Hello, hello, everybody. It's with Prof. Joff, and we're back again with a new good enough video. This is the worst punishments in human history from 10 to 1. Let's go. Let's start with the bad and slowly work our way towards okay. the stuff of nightmares. Number 10, the Rat Dungeon. If you were alive in London, England, during this is number 10? In the medieval period, you would have Brother. definitely heard about the Rat Dungeon, since this punishment struck paralyzing fear into the hearts uh -huh. of even the most hardened criminals. This was why, this, why was homie holding his own hand? It was a cell that was located at the bottom of the London Tower, where prisoners mm -hmm. were shackled and chained in complete darkness. By the way, but this is prisoners in the Middle Ages, which uh, basically means that you might have been an actual criminal, or you might have done something that your medieval lord did not like, so you're in there. Here's the thing, the dungeon was connected to the nearby river and just below the river's waterline, so that when the water levels rose, uh -huh. all the rats that lived along the riverbed would be pushed out of their shelters and forced to swim downstream. Brother. This would of course lead the hungry and angry rats towards the entrance of the dungeon, where they would then come face to face with the prisoner. But to the unlucky prisoner, he never actually saw anything, and all he would hear were the soft scurries of oh the my rats' God, feet that would be entering the dungeon. Disturbing. And in a matter of minutes these soft noises were in the hundreds and all around him these angry and aggressive rats Wait, would then begin to take some rats i don't think are that aggressive naturally right i mean maybe if they're hungry but i doubt they would just attack him all bites know. from the prisoner would be awful, who had though. no way of defending himself now he might be able to shake the rats off for a few hours okay. but eventually the he didn't specify how tied up he was if he cannot move this is absolute horror absolute horror oh prisoner my god pass out from pure exhaustion and while he slept the rats would continue oh. to take bites from oh. his flesh eventually when he would wake up he would discover hundreds of bites throughout his entire body but it didn't stop the humanity there. is the evil prisoner was left here for days or weeks on end Wait. depending on his crime okay first off if he was here for days or weeks on end that man somebody must have fed him and given him water Bro, this is horror. Just let me die. But towards the end of the medieval period, this, is number this 10, form by of the punishment way. just got more and more deranged, How? eventually becoming a form of execution, where prisoners would just be thrown in the... Excuse me, what? So you mean to tell me that before, at some point, they decide they're gonna execute you, they just throw you to the rats for a couple of weeks, the rats chomp you a little bit, and then they let you out? Okay. The dungeon and forgotten about. Okay. Number 9. Okay. The Rack. This was the yet rack? another punishment that took place in the London Not the good Tower. Rack. The rack was a torture device you. that was used in many places Wait, is this throughout another? history. This London. form of punishment was England. originally designed for getting a confession, usually from criminals, slaves, oh. or prisoners of war. The device looked like a large ladder, but instead of secure steps, they would actually rotate like a rolling pin. You see, when a prisoner was placed on the rack, he would have his feet and wrists tied to a ratchet pulley <laughs> system, where two legal- This is the bad BDSM. This is not the BDSM we want, officials okay? Officials would slowly tighten the ropes and locking them in place, placing an increasing amount of strain on oh the prisoner's shoulders, God. hips, knees, and elbows with every single turn. I mean, this was okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, this might not actually be as bad as the last one, because with this, at some point, you're just gonna lose feeling, right? And you won't feel any more pain. It will probably just be uncomfortable. Like with the rats, you, you, I mean, it's, it's, Done to bro, get it's rats. But of course, a lot of the times the truth was not accepted as reality. And the prisoner would then begin to say whatever he believed the officials yeah. wanted to hear. I mean, that's how it Sometimes works, it would usually. work and the prisoners would be let go while other times they would be tortured even more for lying. Oh my god. When the god. whole ordeal was over, prisoners were usually released with dislocated joints, but oftentimes <gasps> they were left completely paralyzed. That was the case in England in 1447 when a 25-year-old girl named I Anne Askew you. would be tortured on the rack for hours and hours on end and left completely paralyzed after all her joints were dislocated. Oh my she was then God. carried on a chair and burned alive at the stake. She all witch? this because she read and memorized scriptures from the Bible which she preached in private to a small group of women, which were the exact women she refused to name and expose. Oh, wait, this might be during the time where England was, uh, England, they were like, they were Christian, right? And then they were like the other part of Christian. I don't remember history too well, so it might be that. You see, during this time period, if you followed any religion other than the Catholic Church, yeah, but at some point they became not Catholic, right? They were 
England or some shit. I don't know. Say a word to I'm, anybody, yeah. including your own husband, which was the person that turned her in. Oh my Number god, eight, bro. Keel hauling. This what? brutal punishment was carried out at sea on Keel sailors hauling. who would steal or be Keel violent nice towards teeth, others and would usually result in death. Keel hauling would start with a sailor having his arms tied with a rope Who's then the looped around fucker? the entire circumference of the ship before being tied off to his feet. The sailor would then be thrown overboard while the group of men on board pulled on the rope to slowly drag him around the outside of the ship, including oh God, over the keel, which is how this punishment gets its name. Bro. But a lot of the times, the sailor wouldn't even have to worry about it. Which psychopath thought of this? Like, how well, you just wake up one morning, oh, I found out something that could absolutely kill everybody in the most atrocious way possible. Since they were dead before they ever reached it. Ah. Kinda just depends on how hard the guys on the rope feel like working that day. <laughs> Not only were the sailors be drowning and getting their backs and necks broken on the keel, they were also getting sliced apart like a cheese grater by all the sharp ah. barnacles on the outside of the ship. But if by some miracle, a sailor actually happens to make it all the way around the ship without dying, one of three things will happen. Yes. One, he would be sent for round two and for sure be dead by then. <laughs> two, be freed and allowed back on the ship. Yay. Where he would then slowly die to infect. Bro, if I, if they do, if somebody does this to me and I survive, it, when you guys go to sleep, I am stabbing all of you in the throat. Straight up. I don't care if I die at that point. You all are coming with me. Okay? Fuck that. Infections. Or three, live the rest of his life single and being made fun of since he was now fully covered in scars from head to toe. Hey, some women like Number that. seven, crushed by elephants. Now we are getting to the part of the list where living is no longer an option. This form of punishment has been... Okay, let's be honest. This does not seem as bad because you die fast, right? There's no constant pain and suffering and chance of surviving be a useless limp noodle used by many countries throughout history but was most recently used by india in most the 19th recently. century which is really not Bro, that long ago if you really yes, think no, about it's it not. like your great grandma could have witnessed india. one of these what type hey, of crimes would you have to commit to what be crushed doing? by an elephant you might ask well apparently if you fail to pay your taxes that was good enough and of course, yeah, stealing or being an enemy soldier was also a great way to become a tortilla. But the <laughs> tortilla. most disturbing case in history was when the fourth Mughal emperor of India ordered an enormous amount of criminals to be crushed to death in a single day, simply because he was bored and needed some entertainment. The guy who forgot to pay his taxes, crushed. The man who stole an apple from the local market, crushed. crushed. The little orphan who jaywalked across the hey, street, yo. crushed. The man the, who, how do you jaywalk? They didn't have laws back then. No roads. Murdered his neighbor and added his remains to a large pot of tomato soup, then fed that soup to his family and watched them eat it from the shadows with a creepy smirk on his face. Crushed? Eh, he's alright. Oh, Apparently come on. he makes a damn good soup. <laughs> there are a few ways that this public execution okay, goes bro. down, but one thing always stays the same. There's always a guy on top of the elephant <laughs> controlling its every move. And this was very intentional, as this was meant to showcase just how amazing the ruling class were. Ah. I mean, look at them. They can control an elephant. <laughs> now be impressed. The first method of execution was the one that you better pray for if this was going to be your fate. The Here, the criminals would have their arms oh tied behind their God, back bro. and their heads placed on a pedestal, where it was then crushed like a grape by the elephant's foot. Now, the second method is much more cruel. The criminal would be placed flat on the floor with their arms tied behind their oh, backs. Oh, no. Then the elephants no, would No, be... no, 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 no. Please tell me it's not what I'm thinking. Guided to walk over the person's body, and hopefully the criminal would die on the first go. But sometimes oh. they just end up crushing a leg or an arm, ah. so the elephant then has to make a U turn and try again and again. Blinkers. And again. The final and worst way is when There's a highly more? trained elephant was guided to slowly crush the person limb by limb. They would oh. first crush the arms, then the legs, and then poke holes in them with the tusk until eventually dealing the final blow to the head or torso. This is the more theatrical route that rulers like the fourth mogul love to take and made for a truly traumatizing experience for everyone, except for the fourth mogul. I mean, to be honest, if you saw that, you're probably not going to commit any more crimes, right? Like, uh, it might actually work as a detergent. He loved it. Number Why is he six, drooling, though? Impelment. 
Probably one uh, of the grossest and most cruel forms of punishment yeah, on the list. Vlad this Dracula. has been used by a few countries throughout history, but was most recently used in Egypt in the 17th, 17th century, century. Usually against criminals that were highway robbers, grave thieves, or anyone who would try and start a rebellion. That's this nice. punishment would start by having a criminal lay flat on their stomachs with their arms tied behind their back. They would then be sliced open with a razor to increase the size of their back door. And as soon as that incision was Bro, imagine that being your job. Okay, go go make his ass bigger. Go do it. Get to your razor. The cut would be lathered with paste to instantly stop the blood. Yeah, they, they would want... then thrust in a long wooden stake that was the width of a man's <laughs> arm, which was sharply like that, tapered on one end. They then begin to hit the wooden stake with the mallet, pushing it <laughs> further and further in. And of course, the stake was greased up beforehand uh. to make this process a lot smoother. And once the stake has popped out of the criminal's shoulder, head, or mouth, they were pretty much long gone. He is then planted next to a busy road, like a Halloween decoration. Well, he says they are long gone, but from what I've read on history, mostly with the Ottoman invasion into Wallachia back in the day, is that it took hours for that to happen. You weren't just gone in minutes, it took actual hours. And you're alive during this time. You know, not unconscious. No, no, you're alive and there. To remind everyone that this is what happens when you break the law. They will be left there for the entire day and removed the following morning before the body begins to stink. But wait, there's another version of this as well. You see, on some occasions, the criminals would only be impelled just deep enough to keep them in place, mm. but not too deep that it would cause immediate okay, this death. Have, well, they would do this about. by having stakes that had a seated position on them to prevent the person from sliding Damn. down any further. They would then be placed on a busy road oh where they would suffer God. for hours and hours, pleading to people walking by for help, until eventually succumbing to their wounds. Number five, Poena Kule. Poena Kule is Latin for. Okay, I think we need. Let's go. Penalty of the sack. And that's exactly what it was. Just a lot more terrifying and cruel. Penalty this was an of the exclusive sack. punishment for anyone that would murder their own family members. Oh. This was first seen in the second century in Rome, but would later second be used century. by the Germans in the 18th century. I've never century. heard of this, by This way. all begins with a convicted murderer being placed inside a thick leather bag. But mm -hmm. just to make sure the man isn't lonely, they would then add a dog, a rooster, a viper, and a monkey. I don't know what these animals did to- What? First off, where were, the, where were the Germans getting monkeys from in the 8th century? To deserve this, but hey, at least the evil family murderer doesn't die alone. Once all the animals are added inside the bag, it is then sewn shut, creating uh -huh. an almost airtight seal. Now you would think this would be horrible enough, but no, this is just the beginning. Because as soon as the bag is sewn shut, it is then tossed into the ocean. But don't worry, later on, these murderers would be given the option to either be placed inside the leather bag or be sent to perform at the Colosseum, oh. where they can perform the act of being mauled to death in front of all of their loved ones and peers. God damn. Well, at least they had the option. The art is insane. Number four, rats. This is rats, one of the most more sick rats. punishments in What's all What's up with people and rats and torture? Come on, brother. ...of human history, and it involves the use of rats. Oh, I will cover two of them here. This is the one from uh, Fast and Furious 2, I think, where they did that. They had that with the rat and they heat it up and the rat goes through your bowels and stuff. As they are very similar, the first use of this form of punishment dates back to 1568 wow. during the 80 Years War. A Dutch leader named Diedrich Sonoy would often use this method of punishment, yeah, which involved like a placing a rat asshole. inside of a clay bowl, then placing it topside down on yeah, a prisoner's stomach, chest, face, or groin. The face? Then the back of the bowl would be heated Boy. with either a torch or some coals, causing the rat to go into a full on panic trying to escape from the heat yeah, it's and the its fast only and way out one. was to burrow into the human once inside it would continue to chew and tear apart whatever was in its way desperately searching for a way out eventually the rat finds its way out of the maze and survives the maze the same could not you are the maze the prisoner but the second method was much much worse why is there always a worse way it is already bad enough why make it worse and was highly secretive since it was used under the guidance of the dictator Augusto Pinochet, where he held power from 1976 through 1983. They called Chile. it the rectoscope. And I'm sure you have already figured out where this is going. Yes, it's exactly what you think. 
they would place a tube on a prisoner's back door, then insert a rat inside of the tube. The rat would then begin to burrow its way in. These people were so sick that they actually expected the prisoners to answer questions while this was going on. Eventually, the rat- You do this to me, I'm answering any question you have. I don't know if I'll answer it, right? Probably not, but I'll tell you whatever you want, brother. That would find its way in and begin to move forward to find its way out. Nobody really knows how many people died from this punishment, but we do know that a ton of people went missing when this dictator was in charge. Yeah. Number three. Since he's a dictator, probably too many is the right number. Gibbeting. The last known use was in the early 1900s in Afghanistan. This all came to light in 1921 when the ago. National Geographic published this image in their magazine. Oh this was also God. used in the United States from time to time during the 17th and 18th century. Oh, One notable example America. was in Boston, Massachusetts, where a few pirates were hung at the Boston Harbor, oh. which served as a war. Yeah, people did not really like pirates back in the day. to any sailors that were approaching Boston. Now let's talk about England since they love this form of punishment so much. In England, this was England. used on traitors, wrong with murderers, pirates, and thieves. But after the year 1752, the Murder Act was passed, which required that all convicted Act. murderers must be put to death by being publicly dissected or by gibbeting of some sort. And over 134 confirmed people met this fate. The most common form of gibbeting were actually cages and they looked like this. It was an all steel cage. Bro, how long does that take for you to die? Holy age that was shaped tightly to the form of a human body, which was so tight that it would not allow the person inside to move. They were then hung 30 feet or more off the floor, <laughs> Why are you looking usually like that, on though? a public road or water hole, to ensure that the most amount of people could witness this monstrosity. Jesus. But I can only assume this was more annoying than anything, since every time you get thirsty and needed to fill up your container of water, you would have to deal with the dying <laughs> man begging you for a sip. But the annoyance and torture of the public didn't stop there. Because after the criminals would die in the cages, the body would be left inside to rot for years and hey, years. Hey, yo! Hygiene, motherfucker! Plus, wouldn't that smell absolutely awful? Near the water? On end, Come on! With the locals complaining that the smell of yeah. death was so pungent that they couldn't even sleep at night. There's the even hell? been reports that some human remains stayed inside of these cages for over 20 years before a government official would finally remember to clean it out. Number two, Jesus. scaphism. This was a form of punishment that was used by the ancient Persian Empire. Why did I click on this video? I was curious. I was really curious. Now I'm just like disgusted and afraid and Losing coping humanity. And anyone that would be convicted of murder. Why, First, why would the we do this? Would be placed why would we like boat this? On their backs and tied down. The boat had four <laughs> holes cut out so that the person's arms and legs would be outside of the boat and in the water. They uh -huh. were then force-fed large quantities of honey and milk until their stomachs were visited. Okay, this must have not happened too often because honey, I imagine, is kind of expensive, especially back in the day. Full. They would then proceed to lather their entire body with the milk and honey as well. Oh god, After the animals are gonna eat completed, him. He was then pushed out to the middle of the lake where he was completely exposed to the heat of the sun. <sighs> That's but the not sun the problem. would soon become the least of his worries. Yeah. You see, the reason they fed him milk and honey was not because it was a great last meal, but because this combination causes the person to get extreme diarrhea, oh. which mixed with the sweet honey attracts... Okay, I did not think about I thought animals would start eating him while he's covered in honey. Attracts rodents bugs, oh, never wasps, mind. bees, flies, and whatever other animals live near the lake. After being tormented by the animals throughout the entire night, you would think that the daytime maybe gets a little better. Probably not. No, because as soon as the sun rises the following day, the person inside of the boat gets another gigantic oh meal of milk and honey and an additional lather. Okay, I would rather be the first day, people, because imagine the smell the second day. Oof. Go to cover shitty... Cody or whatever. I don't know. This would be done on a daily basis to prolong the punishment for as long as possible. Jesus. It was also well documented that the Romans would do? continuously attempt to burrow inside of the person through their back door. They were probably trying to get a head start on their next meal. A writer named John Sonaris wrote in great detail about God one of these damn. incidents. Why did you do that? say that it was one of the most horrid and cruel forms of punishment. I imagine. Since it was terribly long and seemed to have no end in okay. sight. He wrote about a man who survived for an entire 17 days before he finally died from his wounds. Seven. Apparently, the man spent his last few days with his entire face completely covered with wasps. 
and his flesh rotting away filled with swarms of parasites and worms, all while being covered in his own filth. Number one, the... Oh, it's the Oblite dungeon. I thought there was going to be the, the brass bull that the Greeks used, where they put a person inside a brass bull and they heat it up so you burn, you know, inside of it. But no, I guess something Oubliette. else. Oubliette simply means to 17 forget days. in French. That guy's this was a survivor, punishment that but was he died, so not really. in many places throughout history, including in the London Tower, which had a small... Of course, London Tower. What, what the hell? Is that, is that building still standing today? Shit should be brought down. Probably ghosts and shit in there. Room called Little Ease. Little not only ease. was this room pitch black, it was also so small that prisoners could not sit, stand, or lay down while inside it. Okay. And they would be left in this uncomfortable position for days on end. One of the most famous oubliettes is not the one in the London Tower, but in the neighboring district of Warwick, inside Warwick. of Warwick Castle. Here, deep underground in the castle's dungeons, is a very small and narrow cell, completely made of stone, which has a metal door to close it shut. Bro, that Prisoners would be so were tossed cold. inside of the cell and forgotten about, as the name implies. The prisoner would just have to sit there and wait for their inevitable death which usually came in a few days from dehydration or starvation now of course this would be the best case scenario worse. because in reality most of the time there would already be a rotting corpse oh inside my of the cell God. to keep the new prisoner company the previous occupier of the cell would serve as a daily reminder of his upcoming fate but that's not the only companions that he will have since the underground dungeons are completely infested with rats that have developed a taste for human flesh but wait there's more these oubliettes existed in many of the castles throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. And in recent times, they have actually discovered these dungeons oh, with dozens, Jesus. if not hundreds, of human remains inside of it as proof that they were hardly ever cleaned. Like in Leap Castle of Ireland, Leap where Castle. in 1900, during the castle's renovation, a worker found a small opening behind a wall inside of the chapel. This hole had an 8-foot drop that led to a large oubliette. And what the worker found inside shocked him, since it was filled with so many skeletons that they needed multiple cartloads to clear it all out. Bruh. But just when you think the section is over, it just keeps on giving. Why? Why does it keep on giving? This is not good. Bro, this is... You see, there's been many stories of men who have been placed inside one of these dungeons and kept alive for years and years on end. Surviving off crumbs of food and minimal amounts of water, Damn. prolonging their inevitable... Yo, hope is a scary thing. Imagine living for years hoping that something better happens and it just doesn't. That's wild. Demise for as long as humanly possible. That's wild. These cells were sometimes even placed on ground level so they can hear the voices and laughter of the people outside. An God. experience that they will Damn. never get again in this lifetime. Okay. Well, that was the worst punishments in human history. Yes, they were. I'm gonna be honest with you. The one with the honey, that seems like the worst one so far. To be completely honest, 17 days? Yeah, hell no. Kill me in the first one, please. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this video. In the comments, like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Okay? Bye, I guess.